Hey, we're Ola and Marty, and together we're OMD. OMD, scuba diving instructors with 12 years of combined experience. Join us every week as we share part of our diving life, tips, tricks, dive site and gear reviews that we hope will inspire you. But for now, gear up, subscribe and enjoy this episode of OMD. Morning guys, it's uh, early morning and we are prepping for our dive in Cueva de Zorro. Uh, Marty is prepping the gear while I will tell you a few bits and pieces, interesting facts about this dive site. So first of all, we're taking off from uh, harbour in Los Cristianos. It will take us approximately 15 to 20 minutes by boat and we will be dropping the anchor at about 12 meters very close to the shore um, which causes possibility of um, currents however the dive site is suitable for experienced open water divers once you drop um, and descend on those 12 meters well um, the first thing you will see is an impressive beautiful basalt uh, rock formations. They create incredible um, formations that itself is already a reward of being down under. Um, as it comes to Cueva, it's not easy to find it. It's a little bit like a rabbit hole, but once you get in, uh, there is plenty of marine life, trumpet fish, um, amber jacks, um, Atlantic stingrays, uh, massive groupers, uh, plenty of plenty random silver fish, but also angel sharks and canary and lobsters. Uh, so unique um, endemic species for Canary Islands. Um, the maximum depth of the dive site is approximately 22 meters with a high tide. So if you're an open water diver with a lot of experience in currents and boat diving, I strongly recommend uh, that place. Um, what else? Uh, majority of the bottom is rocky, which creates a beautiful um, space for a lot of tiny marine life. Um, but also there will be sandy patches um, with white sand uh, that is perfect for filming as well and having beautiful photos. Um, so two things I wanted to tell you about before we actually go. First of all, diving in caves and caverns. Make sure that once you're getting into the cave or cavern, you already know where the way out is. When we swim in or we swim through, we swim one by one and leave space for a person who's in front of you so we don't swim into someone. Um, keep in mind that there is a sandy bottom in the cave, so um, try to swim steady and slow, maybe using a frog kick that will help to uh, keep the bottom uh, still and not to move the silt. And uh, the, the second thing about this dive site and this dive uh, are currents. Um, it's uh, important to remember or know how to dive in currents, which means that uh, be prepared to, for the current to pick up very quickly. Uh, if it does happen, you need to deflate your BCD and get as heavy as possible to stay on the bottom and then slowly start returning to an anchor line and ascent with an anchor line. More about current dives we'll be talking in a different episode, but keep in mind that this is a possibility in this dive site. So um, keep our fingers crossed there won't be any currents and uh, check this out because now we're going diving in Cueva de Zorro.
so we just finished our dive in Cueva del Zorro and so it happened there was a current. Um, this only shows how important it is to get ready and prepared for any possibility if you actually are aware of possible currents um, on a specific dive site. So majority of our dive outside from the cave was basically on the bottom. Um, however, um, I hope you enjoy the footages from the cave and you'll come to join and check this uh, dive site out. Uh, meanwhile, thanks for watching. Please uh, don't forget to subscribe and follow us for the next adventures underwater.